Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, before we start, please hit the like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below, and let me know what you guys think about this segment. But um, <clears throat> let's get into this. The U.S. Appeals Court opposed Washington State's uh, conversion therapy ban. So, uh, if you guys uh, know, um, there was a there was a ban on the conversion therapy of, of children uh, under the age of eighteen. So, <clears throat> the appeals court basically it's upholding the Washington State's conversion therapy ban. Uh, the ban subjects licensed healthcare providers to discipline, including possible fines and license revocation for for trying to change a minor's sexual orientation. Or gender identity this is this is huge this is huge <clears throat> this is where children they go to these therapists and these therapists they're like oh yeah you definitely need to change your identity and you do this and you need to do that uh, while they're minors and at times parents have no idea what's happening a U.S. Federal Appeals Court on Tuesday unanimously upheld Washington State's ban on conversion therapy for children, rejecting a therapist's claim that it undermines his free speech and targeted him because he is Christian. The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals said Washington's legislator acted rationally and did not violate the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment by imposing the ban to protect the physical and psychological well-being of children. Enacted in 2018, the ban subjects licensed healthcare providers to discipline, including possible fines and license suspension or rev uh, revocation, for, revocation <clears throat> for trying to change the sexual orientation or gender identity of people under the age of 18. More than 20 states, law <clears throat> states have laws against conversion therapy. Washington, like other states, has concluded that health care providers should not be able to treat a child by such means as telling him that he is the uh, abomination we had heard about in Sunday school, Circuit Judge Ronald Gold wrote for a three-judge panel. States do not lose the power to regulate the safety of medical treatment performed under the authority of a state's license merely because those treatments are implemented through speech rather than through uh, scal uh, scalpel. The therapist Brian Tingley, who lives in Tacoma and practices in nearby um, Fierce, uh, 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 Fearcrest, Washington, said the ban amounted to censorship. The state countered that the ban targeted conduct. The ban targeted conduct and protected children from a harmful practice so <clears throat> let's digest this a little bit um <clears throat> what is conversion therapy the conversion therapy is basically a child on the age of 18 goes and sees the therapist they're like oh i don't feel like i'm a boy i don't feel like i'm a girl and the therapist's job is to understand why the child feels that way, not to pursue or persuade them to continue feeling that way. The therapist's job is to figure out what's causing this confusion, what's causing this uh, idea that's coming to their head. Is it because of uh, peer pressure? Is it because of influence from their friends, influence from social media? bullying x y and z it can be that it can be in a way that hey a child goes to a therapist and the parents are not allowed to know what's going on and the child goes i feel like i'm a boy and or a girl and then a therapist will come in and basically motivates the child to pursue that thought process basically convince them to go through this phase and make them comfortable about it and potentially potentially persuade them to do sex change therapy so or conduct a sex change 
from male to female, from female to male, however that works. <coughs> and um, now the court says no. In this particular case, um, so let, let, let's read another paragraph. Uh, Roger Brooks, a lawyer for Tingley, said his client plans to appeal. The government has no business censoring conversation between client and counselor. Well, that may be true, but the client needs to be 18 years old. At that point, they're on the, uh, the, the consent is the parent. But then again, this is not a, 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 a therapy that, <coughs> it's not a life and death situation, I, I don't believe. Unless, uh, you know, the child's talking about suicide or whatnot. But even if, the, if there's a suicide in play, then the parents need to definitely be in on it. Um, uh, changing the child's gender identity or, you know, making them feel that there's somebody else still doesn't fix the problem, I don't think. It sh it, the problem is deeper than that. They need, to, they need to find out the root of the issue. Um, so, I don't know. This is, I mean, this is, uh, this is becoming a trend. So there's a paragraph here that says the American Psychological Association has called conversion therapy harmful to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. Washington Attorney Gerald Bob uh, Ferguson, who defended the state ban, welcomed Tuesday's decision. Conversion therapy does not work and can be uh, particularly harmful to minors. That is very true. Statistically, there's there's many many reports out there, but you know it's silenced. These reports are silenced. These statistics are silenced. Um, because it's it's going against the narrative now, you know. Because if you say conversion therapy is uh, it's harmful to children, now that's sexist, that's transphobe, that's dysphobe, and that phobe, everything phobe, 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 phobe. You know, right? Like it's like a war throw up for these people. <coughs> and you know, for children, they're easy to mold, they're easy to manipulate, they're easy to play with their emotions because they had just have so much stuff going on. It's not like you know, back in the day when we were growing up, uh, specific, spe I mean, like I grew up in Iran, so I'm an immigrant, you know, like I was exposed to other type of, uh, things versus now, you know, with social media, bullying and all this stuff, children are even under more pressure to, to be part of the society. And this, if the society is turning into the fact that, oh, it's okay for you to be a girl, everyone accepts you. Now you just want to fit into that circle. You just want that acceptance. And these therapists, so-called therapists, I call them now, because they're not therapists anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. The therapist's job is to figure out the root of the issue of your problem. Why are you thinking this way? Why are you having suicidal thoughts? Why are you having thoughts of, you know, breaking up with somebody? Why are you having thoughts that nobody likes you? Why are you having the thoughts that you have to fit into this, this circle of, individuals or circle of people or circle of uh, so-called friends x y and z isn't that the job of the therapist the therapist's job is not you know to comfort you and and persuade you to do things just because it's socially acceptable if you're having a mental breakdown they're supposed to figure out what the root of that mental breakdown is what is causing that mental breakdown? If your mental breakdown is, oh, I'm going to be a girl, that's it. That's my mental breakdown. But what's causing it? Is it, is, it, is it related to social media? Is it related to the circle of friends you're in? Is it because all of your friends are doing it and you want to do it too? Uh, it's something with getting tattoos. It's something with getting piercings. You know, <clears throat> the type of clothes people wear. You know, a lot of people want to copy one another. I did it. I didn't remember I was doing it when I was in high school and, you know, out of, even out of high school. Because I wanted to fit into a certain circle. I didn't go to an extent that I would regret my decision. I would always think about the decision I was going to make. But 
Now it's getting even worse because now they're just targeting children. These are minors. These are these are these kids don't even know what they're getting themselves up to, into. And you know they they you know they're ripping these kids apart. They they doing uh, hormone blockers, testosterone blockers. You know they they're doing uh, breast augmentations. They're doing. Oh my God! They're doing unbelievable things. Surgery. They're doing surgery on children. You know, sex change surgeries. So, this is where I draw the line, guys. I don't know. I think I think this ruling is great. Um, and uh, I believe these therapists who are persuading these kids should be held accountable. Um, because if you're becoming a therapist, if you're becoming a counselor, you need to. You need to. Push them to the right direction. Because these are lifelong changes. These are not a one month or two month change. These, these are lifelong. Anyways, guys. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Peace out.